Yesterday had been one of the greatest days of riding I'd ever had. Today would be different. Ever since I escaped the mud, the bike seemed to have less power than before. Back in Germany, Mo is a mechanic, and after listening to my vague description of the problem, he cleared debris from the rear brake, cleaned my air filter, and asked me if it made a difference. At first, I thought it was better, but after we returned to the trail, I found the problem was still there. It was fine at low speeds, but anything over 30 miles per hour was a struggle. I was also struggling with something else. I had thoroughly enjoyed having riding partners for a day, but it meant I captured less video of my adventure. This problem, and the problem of my bike not feeling right, meant that after a couple of hours I had made a decision to ask Fabi and Mo to go on without me. We agreed to stay in touch and perhaps meet up again later down the trail. I set off alone and immediately missed them. I wondered about my reasons for asking to continue alone. It was true that I found it harder to capture video in a group, especially with a drone to fly. But having riding partners changed the dynamic of my trip. With Fabi and Mo, I was the inexperienced beginner struggling to keep up in the dust of superior riders. When alone, however, I was the heroic adventurer, fearlessly exploring a new land. I didn't like this conclusion, but I suspected there was some truth to it. Later that day, I would regret my decision to leave Fabi and Mo. But first, there was a trail to fearlessly explore. The day continued and I found this section of the trail less interesting than the rest. I became tired of the endless gravel roads and my bike was still struggling. I decided I should get to a hotel and search for a Honda garage to help check the bike. I checked the trail on my GPS and saw it wound a long path around the mountain. I could see there were shorter paths down to the road. I decided to go off route and follow one of these paths. The Garmin GPS was no use here. My other option for navigation is an app called Gaia GPS, which I use in the mornings to check elevation of my route and see if I need to skip a section due to bad weather. It also shows me smaller paths that my Garmin doesn't. Here, it showed four different directions I could go and I had no idea which one to take or if I was allowed to take any of them. The trail I had just come down was steep and it would be dangerous to go back. I was committed to finding a route out of here. The first path seemed to be taking me back the way I came. The left route was the steepest path I'd ever seen. I chose to go right.
it was a dead end. I went back and after seeing the straight route led nowhere, there was only one option left. was a closed gate at the bottom. Oh, fuck. Sign said to close the gate when you pass. Mm, Genuinely panicking there. 
not because of the problem I was in, but but more the problem I could get into. I was thinking if I drop this bike and damage it or something, oh my god, get me out of here. Would you be surprised if I told you that the first path I tried, which seemed to go the wrong way, turned out to be the right path? <sighs> New lesson, only trust paths marked on this map, not on my hiking map. I'm slightly ashamed to admit that up there on that mountain, I had me a little panic. My mind ran through all the things that could go wrong and I felt out of my depth. Stupid Englishman playing adventurer on a Spanish hillside, I said to myself. Many times I cursed my decision to leave Fabi and Mo, and now, back on the road, I sought them out. They had stopped at a village called Trevelez, just seven kilometers ahead. They had bought themselves a feast, and when I arrived, were sitting on a bench stuffed full of local Serrano ham. I told them my tale, and how stupid I felt about it. Mo looked at me. Happens to the best of us, he said, and he meant it. That day, we stayed at the same hotel, and in the evening, set about finding the cause of my bike's problems. Soon enough, Mo found it. My clutch didn't have any free play and was slipping. After he adjusted it, the bike was fine. And so was I. 